us ourselves, we're dealing with mental issues and uh, it's a struggle day and day for us. And obviously with the community and people always have, uh, have their stories and now we have the opportunity to put our feelings in towards uh, what we do and what we love to do, which is doing dream catchers and doing paintings. And uh, now we're actually expressing it to others and we hear other stories, which is amazing. The reactions have been um, very, very inspiring and amazing because at the Canucks, like I was saying, uh, we had people come up to us and they're like, wow, you guys, uh, you guys took the time to do this. And they heard our story and they're like, wow, you guys actually are doing this to help your guys' self out and self care and you're now sharing the story to others. And now we hear other people talk about their stories and what they went through and, and, and it really opens your eyes. So it's a lot of really good uh, reactions. Well, we definitely need a, uh, a ring. We need also some letter lace. We need some artificial sinew or sinew if you have real sinew or wax strings. You also need some semi-precious stones or beads, any kind of beads that you can find. And you need feathers. So that's the main things that you need. So what is Alex doing right now is he's grabbing a ring and he has a uh, letter lace that is attaching to the ring. So he did a knot, but you can glue it. It doesn't matter because at the end, what he's gonna do is he's gonna glue the beginning and the end of the string. First of all, we are parents of four children so dream catching is definitely helping me. This is my uh, way out. This is my way of coping with my mental health disorder. For me, I need my way out. I need a way of coping with uh, stress uh, or even when I'm depressed or even when I am on my uh, manic phases or things like that when I'm not so good. Uh, I need to pour my emotions into something. I need, I need to cope. Well, Dreamcatcher is definitely uh, a way for me to cope with and all that. And slowly, he will start doing the webbing, which is literally the center part of the Dreamcatcher, as you can see right here. So what he does is he goes basically over underneath and he retrieves by the center. It was a fast process, but here again, over underneath, retrieve by the center. And that's another anchor point. So he has two anchor points on the ring. Has to do his third one, over underneath, Retrieved by the center. It really brings are. it out. Like definitely when uh, we're feeling low at days and we're feeling super depressed and all of a sudden you get your hands moving and you start doing a dream catcher and you're so focused into it and your mind's not racing anymore and then you just realize after two hours of doing a dream catcher like wow I did this. Like I accomplished something. Um, it felt so good and you release like almost like a dopamine in you like when you're working out and uh, we, we always have that feeling after we're done. Now Alex has a needle. And all he has to do is to put the needle right through this little segment and pull it through and pull. So again, here you will start seeing triangles forming. And this is important that you go through the triangles. So what I'm talking about by triangles is this one, this one, this one, and this one. What you want to do is to go through the triangle, right there, right through. You go get it, you go through, and you go retrieve through the metal, and you pull all the time, and you do it again. You go through the triangle, go through, pull, and that's it. And you create a tension, and this is where your pattern's gonna take form. And you keep going. 